Hi everyone, I'm going to make uh, something in my art journal in a book and I want to do a butterfly. So uh, this is going to be a collage and I'm going to use leftovers, paper napkins that I've got. You don't have to, I'll show you what I'm uh, aiming to do and you, you can do it with whatever painting papers, a uh, scrapbook paper, whatever you've got. Uh, the only thing I'm aiming for is a uh, symmetry. So I'll just, if it's like uh, you have painty papers or if you have scrapbook paper, if I will use a scrapbook paper, I will, I will look for symmetry and I will take uh, some kind of element like this and uh, use it. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the paper napkins and you will understand what I'm uh, babbling about. So, just a white glue and I've got paper napkins and here is one and I've got symmetry as you can see. So I'm going to take the part that is symmetrical and I've got here just, let's see, I'll take another one, a, a paintbrush, I've got here a water and I'm going to remove the part that I want to use by going around it with water. like this and now I can remove it easily of course you can uh, cut it with scissors I just don't like uh, I like the edges to be like this so I prefer it like this and now I'm going to glue it here and I'm going to cover this whole page with symmetry with pieces of paper napkins and that's going to make my butterfly so just taking a little bit of glue and I'm not covering my page with gesso or anything I don't care if the text is showing through the napkin I think it just adds interest So I've got here a nice coat of glue, putting down the napkin in the fold here and now I'm smoothing it out with the flat of the brush and with glue so it would slide and not drag the napkin. Now I'm looking for symmetry, but it doesn't have to be a precise. So I don't care if I've got here a little bit more or a little bit less. It just needs to be to have the impression of symmetry. And let's see. I've got this paper napkin, and it's quite plain, but that's what's great about paper napkins they have transparency so I can work with layers and build up to something really interesting so I'm taking part again part of the napkin and again putting down glue lots and lots of glue so again I'm starting with the center putting it here in the fold and starting to smooth it out and I 
don't care about wrinkles. trying to work fast so I won't be boring with you with all this gluing and here we are another element I've got here for a symmetry and it doesn't have to start with the fold I can take like here I will use the scissors just so it would be easier and I can take just this flower decide that I want to glue it here and take the same flower take it out of the napkin and now glue it here and I still got my symmetry that I'm looking for and again on top glue smoothing it out like so and let's see let take, I'm taking another paper napkin and what do I want to use? I'm thinking... Let's try and I've got another one of these poppies so I'm going to take out this one I'm going to put down a few more pieces and then I'm going to continue uh, off camera because it really is boring watching me just glue pieces and then I'll come back when I've finished putting down all the pieces that are going to make my butterfly. here a piece that I don't want so taking it out here it is again glue so now it's just a matter of taking uh, interesting elements out of paper napkins and continuing to build uh, the symmetry and the layers so I'll be back hi I'm back and this is finally a uh, dry I have I kept adding more and more pieces here and now there are a few options to go about it First of all, uh, the next step is to make a shape of a butterfly. So for that I've taken, let's see, uh, just a printer paper that I have and it fits this uh, double spread like so and you just fold it in half and you want to start planning uh, the shape of your butterfly now this is a uh, completely up to you how you want it if you don't want to uh, try for it uh, there are a lot of uh, templates on uh, the internet that you can uh, download and do whatever you want so this is the start 
and I played with the shape of uh, my uh, butterfly I've got this one that I made and I started to do this one which is a little bit bigger and I'm thinking I'm going with this one so first of all I want to cut this shape out and I'm just roughly cutting it I'm not really concerned of it being accurate Maybe a small scissors would be uh, easier, but here we go. So, here is my butterfly, and basically what I want to do is, uh, now I want to uh, cover all this uh, background, whatever is not uh, my butterfly is going to get covered, which is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I have here nice uh, flowers but that's what it's going to be unless I uh, decide that I want uh, something else on the sides but for this uh, this time I'm just gonna get going to cover uh, everything around now if uh, there are going to be details inside uh, my butterfly and you need to think if you want the details to be in black then don't do the background in black you need another color so uh, I'm also going to trace now with a permanent marker around my butterfly so it will be easier to work so I'm just holding it down and going around it and I can do a some fixing later on right now it's more so I will see where everything goes Now inside the butterfly you can decide whatever kind of details you want or uh, even if you don't want, if you just want it uh, to be all uh, this color that you have from the paper napkins, it's up to you. You can draw in it, you can uh, stamp in it, make all kinds of prints to add detail on the inside and here we are I've got my butterfly traced and of course as I said I can decide I want some flower here like well I'll do it with the permanent marker if I don't want it later I will just uh, cover it with the acrylic paint I can decide that I want some flower here and something like that and of course if I want it I will add a more color here where I don't have anything glued down so you can do whatever you want basically I am uh, concentrating on my butterfly now I can uh, when I told you about print I can take something circular and acrylic paint and start adding all kinds of prints if you've got a paper napkin which is has a lot of details with white and black like this one I can decide that I want to do the inside of my butterfly with this because once you uh, glue it down the white uh, become 
becomes transparent not completely but it will add the details so this is one option you can do lace in here as I said whatever uh, you feel like doing so now I'm just tracing here I'm doing let's see I'll, let's use the template it will be easier cutting the in the the middle so it would be a template again I now can uh, cut each of the shape so it will be easier to make it symmetrical Here I have the middle and I want this black and I'm planning on <laughs> fine tuning it uh, once I'll do the background. Right now I want, as I said, to see what I'm doing. Now I'm thinking I'm not going to completely cover, maybe do some stripes, something like that. You can play with it, you can you can do flowers, you can do a plaid, whatever feels like. You cover only what you wish to cover and you decide on the pattern and no I'm not uh, trying to turn it into a bumblebee just think it would be nice to have it with more uh, detail and not completely uh, black so I've got my middle and now I can again use uh, this as template. I can cut into all these uh, shapes that I've drawn and lay them down and then trace around them. I can just uh, do something let's see, like this one. Cut one shape. place it just so I will know where everything goes and uh, <laughs> and mark it and again flip it over or I can now just go and do my thing and try to keep it symmetrical but without the template just drawing the shapes like so it doesn't have to be planned it doesn't have to be in any kind of shape you do whatever you like to do and if you don't like symmetrical you don't have to go with symmetrical I, I can do one wing a, with flowers and the other one with stripes it's up to you to make your butterfly here it is so now I need to do the same thing here and then I'm going on all these uh, spaces and just coloring it with the black marker and this will stay as is. You will see all this color through. 
and that's how I'm making my butterfly so I've got my white card uh, for me <laughs> it's going to take some time to color all of this now you don't have to use black marker you can use whatever you want you, you can try Posca pens you can just take acrylic paint and uh, do it uh, with a paintbrush I just uh, like it uh, like this and I have more control of it so <laughs> that's what I am working so I'll uh, continue this and I'll be back I'm back so here is my butterfly and now I want to go over the background I've got here cobalt blue and white and I just want to cover uh, everything so my butterfly will stand out on this page and I'm just taking a little bit of white and a little bit of the blue and I'm just going to cover <laughs> everything but I don't want it a, com a complete solid color I want interest also in my background so each time I'm taking a little bit of each color and that's how I'm going to have more interest and motion to my background And once it's dry, if I made a mistake here, I can uh, go again, take uh, the permanent marker and go over it. So right now, again, <laughs> this is going to take time, but I think it's worth it. And I'm hoping that once I'm finished, everything will come together and won't and it won't uh, <laughs> look like a mess anymore a mess of paper napkins so I'm going to continue a little bit more just so you will see what I'm doing a little bit difficult because I have a lot of texture from all this uh, wrinkled uh, paper napkins but I'm getting in with the brush and I think it it's adding a lot of interest the texture in the back so it's a win-win for me at least not everyone likes it So I'm going to continue and I'm, go I'm gonna come back when it's finished because it's going to take quite some time and I'll be back. I'm back. I finished uh, the background and I thought about adding more details if, if to the background or some dots uh, to my butterfly but decided to leave it alone i i'm quite satisfied with what i have and i think it takes time but uh, you get a really detailed butterfly with lots of color i hope you can see all the details and this is it for uh, now i hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below bye for now